everyone. I want to do a quick Mandela effect of Walmart, okay? Now, in my old reality timeline, um, Walmart used to have a dash in it, okay? It was Wall Dash Mart. It was always Wall Dash Mart. In this new reality, yeah, they would talk it up that there was a change in this and that. But we didn't see this com combination until around, it was about 2016 or 2017, the Mandela effect started hitting. And then you had these flip flops where you see in Wall Dash Mart on. Uh, buildings and also on uh, boxes. I actually had um, a photo on an old uh, phone in a video that I did. I may have it on an old channel that I had on YouTube, I'm not sure. That channel kind of got whacked and beaten by evil forces. But it had Wall Dash Martin, some of the boxes. Like, is it mixed between both? Is like it's stuck between um, the current timeline reality versus the old. So it's Wall Dash Mart, right? But now it's, you know, it's combined this Walmart. Now, there's a couple things I also want to mention too is really interesting is that I actually went to the Walmart uh, Museum, okay? And at the Walmart Museum, that was interesting, there's two young gentlemen that were there, okay? And I asked them, because they would know they were actually the, uh, they're actually in charge of this, the museum, the Walmart Museum. And I asked them about the history, because I know that the history of Samuel Walton has changed. And I asked them, how did, uh, how did it start, you know, you know Samuel Walton, how did, where, how did you get to where it was today? What's interesting is that they both kind of him hobbed around and trying to build the history and said they really didn't know and they said I said well God you're working here you're supposed to be telling the history of this place and you know you should know that right and I wasn't trying to be insulting so then they started telling me well according to what they thought that it was uh, that Samuel Walton had started from a five and dime just one little uh, little five and dime place right in uh, in Arkansas I believe it was Arkansas yeah uh, anyway so it starts out as a little um, five and dime right and then he builds it and expands it from this little uh, department uh, store you know it's five and dime store into uh, going across the nation and just exploding around the world right now because Walmart is one of the is probably is the largest um, retailer in the world right I mean you know for as our goods and sir you know goods I insert I mean goods right well okay what's interesting about that in my old reality timeline I actually helped set up one of the original Walmart's in Montrose Colorado so I'd hear the history, I knew the history, and I'd, I'd read a lot about Sandy Walton. I was trying to figure out how he made his millions and where, you know, how did this, where this guy come up back in, this is like, you know, the early, uh, in the 80s, you know, like 1987, 89, that I did a lot of research uh, about Samuel Walton, okay? Because uh, as a young aspiring man, I said, well, I got to make a lot of money like Samuel Walton. It was all trying to chase the money, okay? Anyway, so in that Samuel, what Samuel Walton was, my original reality was,